Good morning all. Myself Dr. Rajiv Gupta. Today my topic of discussion is safe zones PBR. Yes. So safe zones PBR. What are safe zones? Basically, when we want to insert the wires or screw, they are called transosseous elements into the bone. So we want to insert them in such a way that it will avoid damage to the major vessel, major vessels and nerves. It will impair less and less muscles so that the pin-induced joint and stiffness will be decreased, and there is a decreased incidence of pin tract infections. If we impair more muscles, the chances of pin tract infection and the pin-induced joint stiffness they will be more. So while doing the laser off and while inserting these pins, there one should have a basic knowledge at top of the topographic anatomy of the that part of the basically lower limb if we want to insert a tibial uh, laser off. If without the basic knowledge of the topographic anatomy of the anatomy of the neurovascular bundle, we want to put these wires, so we are taking bull by its own. It may be a dangerous thing, right? So for the purpose, uh, we have divided tibia into six cuts. Cut one, two, three, four, five, six. So cut one is at the level of head of fibula. Cut two is distal to tibial tuberosity. Cut three is just proximal to the midleg. Cut four is just distal to the midleg. Cut five is junction of proximal three fourth and distal one fourth. And cut six is two centimeter above ankle joint. So for the purpose of symbolization, I have used this red line for wire and this blue arrow for the sound screw that is half pin. So we see each cut one by one. We will see the anatomy of each cut. We will see what are the options we are having while putting uh, these transversal elements so, uh, through the safe zones. So this is cut one, right? Cut one, the basic anatomy is the neurovascular bundle is just posterior to the tibia. And the CPN is just posterior to the fibula. So what are the options here? First of all, we have the option of putting this wire, one standard transverse wire, just at the level of neck of fibula, just one finger breadth anterior to the uh, this fibula. We put this wire from lateral to medial side. Another option is to put a transfibular wire from the fibula to the anteromedial tibia. So while putting this wire, we have to take care that we will keep a thumb of our left hand onto the CPN and put it and push it posteriorly. And keep an eye on the toes. If we impale this CPN while putting a wire, there should be a flickering of toes. So we have to stop immediately. And another option is one anteromedial Sean screw and one anterolateral Sean screw. Sometimes in case of a short proximal segment, we need to put the anterolateral to posteromedial wire, but this wire usually passes through the pensarinus and will be uh, a little bit painful while doing the knee range of motion. So usually we avoid putting this wire. So cut two. In tibia, cut two, three, four, five. They are almost one and the same. So the anatomy is the posterior neurovascular bundle is just posterior to the tibia, and anterior ne neurovascular bundle is here, is anterior to the interosseous membrane. So what are the options we are having in here? One, this standard transverse wire, and one is medial facing wire. This wire is parallel to the medial surface of the tibia. We put this from just a little bit lateral from the anterior tibial chin to exit uh, from the posterior medial border, just anterior to the posterior medial border. So two wires and one Sean screw from the medial side and one Sean screw from the interior side. So two wires and two screws. Then cut three, almost same anatomy. Almost same options, one standard transverse wire, one medial facing wire, one anterior medial Sean screw. Cut four, same anatomy as I've already said, transverse wire, medial facing wire, anterior medial Sean screw. Cut five, 
So cut five is a little bit different than the cut two, three, and four. Here the anterior neurovascular bundle starts moving anteriorly. So what are the options we are having? One transverse wire. We avoid passing this medial facing wire at this cut five. That is at the junction of the proximal three fourth and the distal one fourth, because there are chances of this uh, impaling of this anterior neurovascular bundle by the medial facing wire. So we are we are options of having one anterior medial Schoen screw and one anterior Schoen screw. Cut six. This is a little bit different. So standard reference wire is transfibular wire, which we put from the posterior lateral to anterior medial, that is from the fibula to the tibia. Another option is putting this standard transverse wire, and another option is putting one anterior lateral to posterior medial wire. We have to understand the anatomy of this wire. So here, the neurovascular bundle is between the tendon of tibialis anterior and EFL, like this is tibialis anterior and this is EFL. So we have to pass wire in between these two tendons. So the method of putting this wire is, we insert the wire in, by filling the two tendons and we insert the wire in between these two tendons. And then we have to move the ankle and the toe. If our wire is passing from the tendon of tibialis anterior, the wire will move when we move the ankle. And if the wire is in passing through the tendon of EFL, the wire will move when we move the great toe. So we have to put our wire in between these two tendons and we have to exit from the just anterior to the posterior medial border. So we have to a little bit uh, conscious while putting this wire. So options are, another two options are two Schoen screw, one from the anterior medial side and one from the medial side. So three wires and two Schoen screw. So to summarize, as I've already said, cut two, three, four, five, they're almost one and the same with standard options, one transverse wire, medial facing wire, one anterior medial screw. In cut two, in cut five, sorry, we avoid, usually avoid putting this medial facing wire. In cut one, we have options of transverse wire, transfibular wire, one anterior lateral to posterior medial wire, and two Schoen screws, anterior medial and anterior lateral. In cut six, one standard transfibular wire, one horizontal wire, one anterior lateral to posterior medial wire, and two options of putting Schoen screw, one anterior medial and one is dead medial. So I hope this is clear till now. So now we are going to see the examples. So this is an example of distal tibial non-union, which, which was uh, infected in the past. So at the very first look, this fixator looks cumbersome, but we divide, we see all these rings uh, ring by ring, and then we will see what we have put here. So this is first ring at the level of cut one. If you, if you see carefully, we have put one transverse wire, one transfibular wire, and two Schoen screw anterior lateral, anterior medial, sorry, and anterior lateral. So another option is putting a wire from the anterior lateral to posterior medial, which I have already said that, that we avoid putting this wire as it becomes a little painful with the passage of time because it passes through the best sensor image. So we move to ring two at the level of cut three. So what we have put here is one transverse wire and one anterior medial Schoen screw. Ring three at the level of cut four, same thing, one transverse wire and one anterior medial Schoen screw. Cut six, we have put four wires here because the segment is a little bit smaller. I will show you the x-ray. So this is one transverse wire just above the ring, one transverse wire just below the ring, one transfibular wire and one transverse wire as drop wire. The wire which is away from the ring. So we have spanned that little distal fragment with the help of four wires. So these are the X-rays, distal tibial uh, infected non-union. We went inside, we curated, we transverse, we shortened, and we, we have put the frame in such a way. And as uh, we have moved out where we have put our wires and screws from the safe zones. We have provided stability. The fracture has united in a beautiful way.
a little bit shortening was there, but the patient was uh, well with it and doesn't want any lengthening. So another case, our eye sees what our mind knows. So here, if we, if we see carefully ring one, one transverse wire, one transfibular wire, two standard Schoen's screw, one zero medial and zero lateral. Another is transverse wire, anterior medial Schoen's screw. Another is transverse wire, medial facing wire, and then anterior medial Schoen's screw. And in ring four, there is one transverse wire, one transfibular wire, one more transverse wire, and one wire from the anterior lateral to posterior medial, which we have seen in detail. So these, this is all about safe zones of tibia. In case any questions, you can mail me or WhatsApp me. Thank you. Thank you for your kind listening. Thank you very much. Okay.